Hello everyone and thank you for coming. I am Dakota Hoffman and I did my uh, senior research proposal on uh, Top Gun in the South Baseball Showcase Tournament. Little overview, um, it's a 16 and 18 under baseball uh, showcase. It'll be hosted in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, it'll be ran July 20th through the 24th and we will be using two facilities, Raymond A. Namoli Baseball Complex as well as the Walter Fuller Baseball Complex. Um, we're gonna have a showcase that kicks off before the tournament. Uh, each, each player um, has an opportunity to showcase their talents um, in front of 20 various universities and professional teams. Uh, that would cost $250 and it would be a day before the tournament even kicks off. Uh, the team entry fee, the 16U, it will be $1,000, and the 18U is uh, $2,500, I mean, uh, uh, $1,250. There will be 36 teams in each, in each age group, which will be nine pools of four teams, and there will be a four-game guarantee. Uh, here's a little um, example of the t-shirts that will be sold. Um, there will also be um, sweatshirts that will be sold um, at both complexes. Uh, we will have three hotels for all the teams to choose from. The percentage of the sales for those three hotels will be cut to, uh, cut to top gun and it will be anywhere between three and five percent and all hotels are within 10 miles um, of both baseball fields. Um, we want local restaurants and businesses to come in and um, provide food, possibly set up um, their, their shop, cook food for players, um, spectators, parents, everything. Um, that will be a flat fee or percentage of the sales um, depending on the contract that's uh, negotiated. We will also have um, big name baseball um, companies such as Wilson, Evo Shield, and Victus Wood Bats. Uh, each team will have to provide some kind of uh, insurance upon registration for them to be eligible in the tournament. We'll, we will also have k, &K insurance, um, provide insurance for uh, tournament-wide It'll be a $2 million general liability with a $5 million accidental um, medical insurance, which each, each person will have a $25,000 uh, cap limit. We will use Game Changer, um, which is an online scoring. Uh, all the games will be uh, posted live, so other people, um, such as scouts, um, grandparents, uh, People that cannot come to the tournament could watch uh, the game and watch play-by-play. -play. We will also, um, Game Changer also offers a spray chart technology, which uh, we will give to the scouts, we'll sh which will show um, where the player hits it at, when he hits it at, how consistent he is overall. And these are just uh, some of the pictures of the trophies. Um, the first place team will get rings uh, the second team place um, will get medals and then on the far uh, right will be the team trophies as well. Here's the budget. Um, our revenue, uh, we will have the team entry fees, the t-shirts. Um, we look to uh, sell each t-shirt for $15. Uh, the spectator entry fee. Um, Local sponsorships, hotels, we, um, there's no numbers up there just uh, because we don't know how many local sponsorships uh, will come in and um, how many rooms each hotel will have. Uh, the number for the showcase and the total number, which is $314,000, uh, our expenses will be the field rental, um, base rental and field maintenance. The umpires will pay each umpire $240 um, uh, dollars per game. Uh, 
So that comes out to a little under uh, 70, 72,500. Um, we have the expenses for bowls. Um, we are actually looking at 110 dozen baseballs. Um, porta potties for additional restroom. Um, that way um, we're not all uh, compiled over. Uh, additional workers to help me and uh, the staff uh, with running the tournament. Uh, the insurance, like I said before, the scouts, we're paying the scouts um, uh, hotel costs, meal costs, and gas cards um, for them being here. Uh, the medals and trophies, uh, t-shirts, we're going to go with a thousand t-shirts and they're seven dollars um, each to be made. Uh, the game changer for two months, um, that gives us a month beforehand to get everything situated and then the month that it's going to be ran in. Uh, and then I set aside um, miscellaneous which is $30,000 just in case uh, wet conditions such as rain or just other um, uh, items that we may need. And that total came to $205,648 um, with a gross profit of $108,351. Uh, we also, I also made a website and a Twitter page. Uh, the Twitter page will be the main source of communication between um, the staff and the coaches. Uh, that will, the Twitter page will have delays, um, cancellations, uh, different games that are being postponed or moved to a different area. And then we also have the website in which uh, teams can come and uh, register for everything. So here's the website. We have all the tournament information. Um, you can print out the format of um, the tournament along with the rules. Uh, you have the 16U entry fee. You can click that and it'll take you to um, the registration uh, page as well as you can buy weekly uh, weekend passes for spectators um, and uh, that'll let you in for all weekend uh, to the tournament. Here's the two uh, baseball complexes in relation to each other. Uh, and then we also have the showcase. Uh, we'll have the outline. Also we have the Word document and uh, the showcase fee that you can go in. And here are just some of the scouts that are attending. Possibly uh, more could be announced, but at this time this is uh, all the teams that will be uh, uh, there. Here are the hotels. Like I said, there was three, three different hotels to choose from. Um, all different uh, prices. It depends on what your team uh, your team's budget is. Uh, there's one that's um, on the coast and then a little more are inside we, on the website. We also have nearby attractions such as restaurants, um, more of uh, the well-known restaurants in that area as well as a shopping center. Thank you for listening, um, and if there's any questions at this time, I'll be happy to take them.